But I was like, you know, after your boy, um, Snoop Dogg and all them, you know, after the whole nappy head of the old situation, yeah. we was putting together a hip-hop council of who can speak for hip-hop and who can not. Because, like, you know, brothers was trying to do those interviews. I was talking to you at the BET Awards. I was like, okay, we put you on the council. We put Kanye because he the wild card. Yeah, we need Yeah, we need a council. We just, who else do we have on there, Hatter, on our hip-hop council? They can only speak out. Bundy. Oh yeah, Bun B was Bundy, on there because Snoop Dogg was trying to say some stuff and it just wasn't coming out good. Remember, he was like, "I'm talking about the woman, the 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 the, the, the O's in the hood, They're trying to get a dude for their money. Those oh, are the nappy headed O's. I'm not talking about." I'm oh, like, we that's don't need not, to talk right now. We don't need, <laughs> you killing it, bro. You killing it, bro. Yeah. We, need you, we need you to hold up for no, a while. Yeah. You need a Kanye in there, outspoken. Yeah, yeah. He, he, he make a lot emotional. of sense though. Yeah, he makes sense. He's emotional. I'm going to be honest with you. Guy. I like Kanye because he's emotional. Yeah. Like at his concert, if he didn't have an outburst, I was going to be mad. I was, yeah. wait, I was waiting for the outburst. Come on. Because I, I like fix all his screen. albums. I'm like, wow. Yeah. He, he <laughs> like, fix the video screen. And he walked off there like, yeah. I was going to say, yeah. That's what I'm Give him my money's worth, baby. That's right. That's right. That is. He came it. back on stage, did this show. like, yeah, this was a great concert. Yeah, man. I, I want to see an outburst. So, you know, certain artists, there's certain things you want. Like, I hate to say, when I see you, I'm waiting for you to break dance. I don't know why I'm sitting okay, there. In fact, your last concert, I was like, wow, I've never seen him do a concert like this before. Because yeah. you had like the whole backdrop, you had, you was working. I listened to y'all, that, that was our first show. Eventually, we started, like, I started. I mean, I liked it though, it was different though. Like, it threw me off, because I wasn't ready for that. I'm ready for you to just be raw, yeah. just break dance. I mean, you had a show put together, you had the band, and I'm like, okay, this is why these ladies, this is why these ladies is feeling this dude. He, he done went to another level. Yeah, he changed up his game, and, and, that's why and, these, the and these ladies. Feeling. That's why the ladies were and the out. ladies were there. I mean, because it was really mostly there. women. You were always there. Yeah. You got honey in a crown royal bottle. What the hell is that, man? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm always sneaky. Go, y'all go smell me too. Your nose a little nippy outside. Get your little taste. A hot toddy. You've been slurring. Wait, so I got a question. When you performed here last time, that girl that you brought up on stage, like one of the listeners had asked me the other day. She was like, "That was planned, wasn't it? She didn't act all excited and stuff." She's like, "What was that planned, or you just really picked?" I've been picking spontaneous girls. Whoever I kind of just look out in the crowd and feel like I, I try to pick somebody. I think they'll be like live up there. Really? Yeah. True fan. Yeah. Go somebody, enjoy that moment. I watch them doing the show and see if they'll be. You know, some be live, some be like. You know, when you get on stage, yeah, some yeah. get nervous too. Right. But uh. But I like the concert. It was totally what I did not expect. I mean, you. Uh, but I remember specifically. Being here, y'all was like, man, you gotta do I used to love in the corner. We and the bad part, we started doing it after that. Like, but that's what you learned. Like when you go on a tour, you kinda in the early part, you start developing things, you see what works mm -hmm. and what don't, you know? Mm -hmm. So it was it was fun. We started You were doing stuff like a lot of the new stuff out the new album. I like I wonder if the if the crowd's gonna know they knew everything. I was really surprised, man. Especially, I guess I was more surprised with the women. The dudes, I think they know who you are, what you're about. When you see, I, I, I know specifically, I seen older women there that I knew were teachers because I'm listening to them. Because I'm always, I never can go yeah. nowhere and just enjoy. Yeah, yeah. I'm over there over analyzing yeah, everything yeah, yeah, that I'm yeah, seeing yeah. and why I'm seeing it. So, I, you know, I remember three ladies particularly left having a whole conversation about leaving the kids at home and comedy, sexy. They're like, wow, really? And then you got this group of ladies over here and they da da da. I'm like, okay. The new crowd, huh? Yeah, he done changed up. A little bit. That's man, I'm grateful for it too. And my my role man is like, man, thank God, because it's all hard legs at the shows before, you know. But I mean, you want it all. You want the ladies. You yeah, want you want guys. Everybody. You don't want just ladies. I ain't trying to be. I think your base. I think your base is still there. The base is still there. But like I said, I did see some people that I didn't really expect to see at that show. You know what I'm saying? Right. Like me, how to look at like, what are you doing? Now? She got, a lot of self-hate today. Yeah, I don't know what that is, man. <laughs> I wasn't looking at you thinking nothing. It's a lot of self-hate today. Okay, so anyway. Um, <laughs> oh, Lord. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> Merry Christmas. How much longer is on the whole song? 41. 41. Who may have a focus thing?